All right, so in this problem, I have 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. So to solve this, I'm gonna first go re rewrite 20 here as 10 times two or two times 10. So now I have 10 to the power of 20 over two times 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a times b to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So in this case, two times 10 to the power of 10, that's gonna equal two to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10. Now, from here, I can take out two to the power of 10 from my denominator and rewrite this as one over two to the power of 10 times, all that's left is 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, simply equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10, that's gonna equal 10 to the power of 20 minus 10, which is equal to 10 to the power of 10. So now I have one over two to the power of 10. So now I have one over two to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I rewrite this, I get 10 to the power of 10 over two to the power of 10. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal, or sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 10 to the power of 10 over two to the power of 10, that's gonna equal 10 over two to the power of 10 which is equal to five to the power of 10. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x is equal to 36. So to solve this, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log nine to the power of x is equal to log 36. Now, if I take something, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move my x1 and b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 9 to the power of x, and I can move my x1 and x to the front. So now I'm going to have x times log 9 is equal to log 36. Now I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by log nine. So then these two cancel out and I'll be left with X is equal to log 36 over log nine. Now log 36, this is the same thing as nine times four. So now I have X is equal to log of nine times four over log nine. Now, if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log nine times four, I can write as log nine plus log four. Now I have this over log nine. Now this is the same thing as log nine over log nine plus log four over log nine. Log nine uh, over log nine, these two cancel out, so I'll be left with one plus log four over log nine. Now log four, that's the same thing as log two squared. 
and log 9 is the same thing as log 3 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a, so I can move both of these to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3. And log 2, that's equal to, or sorry, these two cancel out. So now log 2, that's equal to 0 0.301. And log 3, that's equal to 0 0.4771. So now if you solve this, you get x is equal to 1.631. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of x plus 16. So to solve this, I want to first find the value of x. To do that for my solution, first start with x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of x plus 16. Now if I take the ln on both sides, I get ln x to the power of x is equal to ln 4 to the power of x plus 16. Now if I have something in the form ln x, or sorry, a to the power of b, I can actually move this b to the front. So it's going to equal b times ln a. So in this case, for ln x to the power of x, I can move x to the front. And for ln 4 to the power of x plus 16, I can move x plus 16 to the front. So now I have x times ln x is equal to x plus 16 times ln 4. Now, if I distribute ln 4, I get x times ln x is equal to x times ln 4 plus 16 times ln 4. Now, I'm going to subtract x times ln 4 on both sides. So these two cancel out. Now I have x times ln x minus x times ln 4 is equal to 16 times ln 4. Now from here, if I factor out x, I get x times ln x minus ln 4 is equal to 16 times ln 4. Now if I have something in the form ln a minus ln b, this is equal to ln a over b. So in this case, this is going to equal x times ln x over 4, which is equal to 16 times ln 4. Now, if I divide both sides by ln x over 4, I get these two cancel out. x is equal to 16 times ln 4 over ln of x over 4. So this is my answer.